Algeria has a powerful fleet of 300 BMPT-72 Terminator 2s, making it the largest operator of this vehicle in the world, larger than Russia themselves. Experience with the BMPT-72 and the Beres Hawk turret on the BMP-1M and BMP-2M gave them an idea on the T-62 MBT and the BMPT-62 was born. Sometime between 2010 and 2020, the transition began and on July 5, 2022, these figures made their debut during the 60th anniversary parade of the independence of Algeria. They have yet to enter service, but appear to be ready to join the fleet. Algeria owns a sizable number of Soviet-era T-62 MBTs, more than 300. Along with the arrival of the more advanced T-72M1 and T-90SA, the T-62 now serves as a secondary tank, mainly used for a rear patrol or simply kept in storage. To modernize its armor fleet, Algeria purchased a large number of brass hawk tourists to equip its BMP-2s and almost all of their BMP-1s. And not only that, brass hawk was also placed on the T-62 to become a fire support vehicle and officially designated as BMP-T-62. The result is the heavy infantry fighting vehicle. The original turret of the T-62 MBT was replaced by the brass hawk turret of the BMP-2M. Vehicle protection is inherited from the T-62. Some additional cage armor around the rear third of the tank which protects the engine area against RPGs. Side skirts have been added along the tracks as well. The biggest change is the addition of the new turret. The hull was slightly modified to accommodate a smaller turret. Explosive reactive armor has also been suggested as a future addition by several sources, though this has yet to be implemented or are confirmed for the future. If added, the likely choice would be Contact 5, as it is already found on many vehicles in the Algerian arsenal, such as the T-90SA, T-72M1, T-55 AMV, and BMPT-72. If equipped, this could vastly improve the survivability of the vehicle. The turret is identical to that of the BMP-2M, armed with a 30mm 2A42 automatic cannon, a coaxial 7.62mm PKT machine gun, a 30mm AGS-30 grenade launcher mounted on the roof, 9M133 Cornet anti-tank guided missile launchers, two per side, and various sensors, night vision, Gunner thermals and smoke launchers. The crew was reduced to three due to the requirements of the smaller Brass Hawk turret. The engine, transmission, and other mobility features remain identical to the T62, though the vehicle is significantly lighter thanks to the new turret. <laughs>